everybody. I am here today to show you how you can save money by adding a cool little element to your scrapbooking. I know many of you have probably seen the smaller page protectors that fit just single photos or two photos at a time that you can add to your 12 by 12 album so that you can fit more pictures onto your page. Many of you have shopped for them. They can get pretty pricey. I have seen them for about, you get nine or 10 for about five to six dollars. Personally, I think that is entirely too much money. So I have been experimenting and trying to find a way around it. At the local dollar store, I purchased these 12 by 12 scrapbook photo albums. They're like any of the other ones that we purchase from the scrapbook store. You have the little holes on the bottom so that you can fit it in your album. Generally, I can only find these around the back to school season. Sometimes you're lucky you can find them all season at some of the dollar stores. I also picked up 8.5 by 11 page protectors. With these, you get 16 for a dollar. They have the white band underneath, just like your typical um, office page protector. I purchased these, and I was able to create this. That way we can fit as many pictures as we possibly can on one page without actually having to duplicate a page. I'd like to show you how to do that. Alright, to get started, I just have a plain sheet of paper. If you like, you can decorate this. You can leave it a little bit larger. But personally, with the project I was working on, I just used the cheap white cardstock. I have my pictures. I'm going to run my adhesive gun on the pictures. Attach them to my paper. Since this is going to flip over, we want the pictures on the opposite side to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to put those on. There's one and two. And for the project I did, I actually cut away the excess paper. Okay, I just cut away the excess. As you can see, pictures go this direction. As soon as I flip them over, they go the opposite direction. Now we get our 8.5 by 11 sheet protector. Slide that into the bottom. If I'm using 4 by 6, I have the orientation go this way. Holes are at the top. Then we have to secure it so that way when people are flipping through your album and flapping it over, we don't have this thing happening. What I did was just use a stapler. I came to the corner, stapled it on one side, stapled it in the other corner, and I only had to do the top two corners. The fun thing is, is with staples, just looks like any metal embellishment. They come in all sorts of things. I have Disney Princess. I have Sesame Street. I have colors. Anything you can imagine, they now make in staples. So, that's it on this. Now we need to attach it to our 12 by 12 paper. Okay, the first thing I did is I glued two pictures onto my actual paper, my 12 by 12 paper. Then I took my picture with the flap and I used a clip and a paper clip just because it's what I had handy and it seemed to work. So I line up my page protector so it'll overlap the picture I have glued on my paper just right. Put a clamp on it. Line it up on this side, put a paper clip on it. I flipped it over. I taped the flap down just with some regular scotch tape. Then I kind of pushed down the flap 
and then creased it really well with my fingers. I know many of you have a bone folder. I don't recommend it. I tried it. It scratches the page protector. Alright, now I can take off the paper clips. Turn it over. And I have my flap. You would repeat this step for each flap that you'd like to add to this. I actually included some journaling on this. If you choose to add a lot of flaps to your page, you may want to reinforce it by flipping it over and adding another sheet of paper and just gluing over it. So that way, this part of your page will uh, be a little stiffer so you don't have any problems with it flapping down. When you slide it into your page protector, the flaps that you've created, you want to keep them hanging outside of your 12 by 12 page protector. So that way, once you have a slid in, you can just flap these over. And then when people look at your albums, they can look through your pictures. When you put these in here, you want to be sure that your crease on top of your 8.5 by 11 page protector goes to the very edge of your 12 by 12 page protector so that it will not bend over your 12 by 12 page protector. So again, here is your finished product. You'll have a 12 by 12 page with additional photo flaps or journaling flaps. I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions, tips, or ideas, please send them my way. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.